Welcome to this tip of the week. I'm Jennifer from Open Helix. If you're viewing this movie somewhere other than at our blog, be sure to check out the post at blog.openhelix.com so that you can see the full discussion with links and references. Fairly often, I like to head over to the homepage for the National Center for Biotechnology Information, otherwise known as NCBI, which you can access at this address, and just check out whether they have any new tools, uh, what tools have been updated, things like that. And today when I did that, I noticed that they have released a new version of the CN3D uh, molecular visualization software that they've created. So that's what I'm going to talk about in today's tip. If you are at the home page, you can click the header of that news item to access the CN3D 4.3 homepage, which is within the NCBI structure group of resources. The home page provides you information about what um, the software does. It provides access to a tutorial. And if you scroll further down the page, you will see what new features are in each release. So here you can read that in the 4.3 version, you are now able to view biological units and crystallographic symmetry from MMDB. You can view stereo views, uh, all sorts of things. And the software is now also able to communicate with CD tree. CD tree is another resource from NCBI. I don't have time to go into it in this tip. Um, you can check it out on your own if you'd like. So again, CN3D is a visualization software that you can download to have on your computer. But how would you actually use this uh, software? Well, that's what I want to show you today and a little bit about the updated software. Right now, I am showing you a structure summary page from the MMDB resource for Myosin 6. If you view our full MMDB tutorial, I show you exactly, or we show you exactly how to get to this page, what it includes, etc., etc. What I want you to know now is that we are at MMDB ID 61246, and on that structure summary page, there is an area with a um, molecular graphic of the structure, and I can click to view that structure with the um, CN3D software. Again, if you haven't downloaded the software already, you'll need to click this button. I already have downloaded it to save a little bit of time. So I'm going to click the View Structure button. I'm using Windows, and so I get this uh, window that asks me what software I should open the file with. And because I have both the 4.3 version and the 4.1 version of the CN3D software, I actually have two choices. Default will open the file in the 4.3 version. The .exe um, is the 4.1. Okay, when I click that link, the software opens and you can see that I have one panel that is the 4.3 Interactive 3D Viewer, and a second panel that is a Sequence Alignment Viewer. There are a variety of different options for things that I can select, styles that I can view, windows, etc. There is a help that explains these. I don't have time to go into them in this tip. Please check them out either in our tutorial or on your own. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you find the viewer and this tip useful. Until next time.